I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, intracranial hypotension. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a 70-year-old male presenting with dizziness, altered gait, and headache. The patient is noted to be hypertensive. The patient has a history of heart failure. Here on MRI, we see that there's bilateral extensive dural thickening with enhancement over the cerebral hemispheres and posterior fossa. There's also a small ventricular system and subarachnoid space. There's extensive white matter flare hyperintensities noted throughout both cerebral hemispheres and brainstem suggestive of chronic small vessel ischemia particularly in a patient with hypertension. Here on DWI, we see that there are small areas of acute infarct with restricted diffusion in the left cerebellum, the splenium, the left centrum semiovale, and the frontal precentral region. The MRI features of intracranial hypotension with cerebral small vessel disease and acute small white matter infarcts in a hypertensive patient with cardiomyopathy. Intracranial hypotension, also known as craniospinal hypotension, is defined as cerebrospinal fluid pressure less than 6 centimeters of water in patients with clinical presentation compatible with intracranial hypotension, namely postural headache, nausea, vomiting, neck pain, visual and hearing disturbances, and vertigo. It most commonly results from a CSF leak somewhere along the neural axis. Intracranial hypotension can broadly be divided into primary which is usually referred to as spontaneous intracranial hypotension, and secondary, which is iatrogenic. It could be secondary to a lumbar puncture or surgery, or overshunting due to diversion devices, or traumatic. 